Well, a SACON canine officer is being credited with helping to save a young girl's life. The officer and his canine got the call Monday night to help find a missing teen in Rehoboth who police said may have been in danger. Canine Zuzo put his skills to the test and found the girl unharmed. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie spoke to his handler today. She joins us now live from the newsroom with the story. Alex. Well, in less than an hour, Sergeant Steve Fundikowski says canine Zuzo was able to track down the teen and all he needed was one good sniff of her sweatshirt to do it. A serious call in Rehoboth put a Seekonk police sergeant and his canine to the test. Here comes Zuzo and I. Monday night, Sergeant Steve Fundikowski and his canine Zuzo were tasked with finding a suicidal teen who ran away from her Rehoboth home. Zuzo was given the girl's worn sweatshirt. So we bit it, took a sniff of it, and now he's trained to track for that one specific scent. Zuzo took police into the woods, and under an hour, he had a scent. Lifts his head up in the air and starts get going a little frantic and to me that he's telling me that the purse is close by. And she was. Fundikowski says the girl was found hiding under a tree. We were able to get her the help that she needed. So all in all, it was a good find. And it's not his first. Fundikowski tells me in his short career, Zuzo has located other people in crisis, narcotics and suspects. He noted one serious but humorous encounter with an armed robbery suspect. Because we're running after him, I'm threatening to, you know, I'm going to send the dog. I don't think he believed me because he looked back and as soon as he looked back and saw the dog, he just dropped and gave up. While his bark may sound threatening, <laughs> canine Zuzo is first and foremost a dog. It's just play. Like after the other night, as excited as he was, there, I gave him his ball, and like that was the world to him. Like he did all that just for his ball. You know. Now, as for that initial call, Fundikowski tells me that that girl was located safe and transported to the hospital for treatment. In the newsroom, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.